folks, this is Bronco Planet on the set. George Moore, unfreaking believable Broncos win. George, I don't know what to say. We're seven and zero. Oh. Second time in the history of the Broncos, they're seven and zero. Oh. What a game! What a game! I think it surprised almost everyone. We, of course, as diehard Bronco fans, were thinking, "Hey, we may." Have to work pretty hard to come away with the victory. Aaron Rodgers, their defense playing up. But, wow, did we handle that from start to finish. It was domination. I mean, what part of this game did you appreciate, George? Well, the deer in the headlights look on, <laughs> on Aaron Rodgers' face. I've never seen a quarterback standing back there so confused, so scared, and so pressured in Every football game. I mean, this is unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, what a miraculous week altogether in Denver. And for those folks, if you've ever been in Colorado this time of year, absolutely gorgeous weather. Oh, what and a then day. here come all the Denver Bronco alumni. You look up, you got Tom Jackson, you got uh, Shannon Sharp, Atwater, Smith, Rod Smith, everybody around. They're going to practice. They're talking to these young players. Shanahan in town. You know what? They they went over to Shanahan's house, the old Broncos uh -huh. Super Bowl wow. team, party till three in the morning. Everybody, you know, and you know Manning's a, guy, a student of the game. He loves, you know, seeing those guys around. You knew he wasn't going to come in and, and, and lay an egg. Lay an egg no, on Pat Bowling night. It, what, what a great turnaround for the offense. That's what the Gary Kubiak slash mix of Peyton Manning Offense should look like. Maybe they've been watching our show, George, because they did a lot of what we talked about. That's exactly right. I mean, we told them exactly what to do, and they did it. I'll tell you, that bye week made all the difference in the world. No, it did. I mean, oh, yeah. it, it absolutely did. Now, here, here's some things I loved about the offense. Six passes to our tight ends over 100 yards combined. That's right. Uh, uh, Demarius Thomas, what, what a difference. A Somebody got in his face. Somebody talked to him and said, listen, you got to turn up the intensity. You've got to be a different player. I mean, when do you see Demarius Thomas, you know, pointing the finger forward, fighting with people in their face? He turned it up such a notch. I mean, I think he had 100, over 100 yards like halfway through the second quarter. Uh, great game for Demarius Thomas and Peyton Manning. Lo and behold, you give him some room. And, and, and we're not even talking about our running backs. You come up with three <laughs> touchdowns, a one-two punch with Hellman, C.J. Anderson, and a fantastic job. I thought a couple of goofy penalties on the offensive right. uh, line. So it, it was as round of a victory that you want you want the offense doing great you want special teams doing great and we already know george our defense is something special oh and so does the rest of the league now <laughs> it's no longer a secret i mean this is a nationally televised game everybody's watching this game the denver defense is not a secret and if a fantastic win wasn't enough for a mile high city vernon davis signed John Elway does it again. I mean, how can a man that's meant so much to the city as a player come in and year after year go gets Manning, gets a Welker, you know, he goes get Mathis earlier in this year, and now Vernon Davis just a couple days before the deadline. John freaking Elway comes through. And what do you think Vernon Davis is going to do to help this offense, George? Well, number one, he's a great blocker. Number two, he's got tons of speed. He's got great hands. And he's got the knack of getting into the end zone for a tight end, which we, since we lost Julius, you know, we don't have that. I, I think it's going to be great. And, you know, it's going to certainly make uh, <clears throat> Owen Daniels, uh, you know, get on, his two, uh, get on his toes and get this thing going. Yeah, no, without a doubt. And I think Owen Daniels played great. He I did. Think, I think what I lo love the most about this game, too, is they got away from some of these uh, goofy plays that they've been doing, the, the short little screens and, and third passing it right towards the marker. They they went downfield, they took some chances, and they gave room. And I guess setting up the run game allows you to do those things. But it was like I was just sitting back there just so happy the, the whole time. I was just like, this is, this is unbelievable. This is a team – that you really felt comfortable could participate I'll tell you what the they Super did. Bowl. They went back the first six games and they looked at all the plays that didn't work. And guess what? It was all of them. <laughs> so they didn't do any of those plays anymore. They didn't throw. They needed four yards. They didn't throw a one-yard pass. They didn't hand it to Ronnie Hillman and say, here, go right up the middle when there's 750 pounds of the defense right there in front of him. He was going around the end, this and that, what have you. All of those 
sorry ass plays that didn't work, they didn't do those anymore. Guess what? Every time there was a first down that needed to be made, if it were five or six yards, the receiver went seven yards. Every time. This is the way he's supposed to play football. And look at all the passes over 20 yards. I mean, that's what, yeah. That's the defense, the offense we had before. They're mixing in some of that Gary Kubiak stuff, but still, we found the formula, I hope, yesterday. A formula that could take us all the way there, Shad Man. And, and we're not just homers here. You look at the depth of this team. <laughs> wow. Like our linebacker, McCray, comes in. Plays outstanding. Derek Wolf, who had to miss How the first How about Schofield, the, <laughs> the man who has disappeared for the last several years, yep. and he showed up. He, Sh- he's the right tackle from now on. A- absolutely. And then you also see guys like B- Roby, right, who comes oh, yeah. in and then plays great. So it doesn't matter. We have Shaq Barrett. There is so much depth. There's speed. Good coaching. It's all coming together in Denver, and I'm telling you, this this town is buzzing. We're buzzing, and you add Vernon Davis on top of it. What I would like, you know, not you know, always want more. I'm a little oh, bit yeah. like my, my kids at Christmas time. I would like to see the Broncos get another lineman dirt before the tread date. The, the yeah, trade because Ty said, Rollo, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone he's for gone. the year, which we hate hate to see. And and you know, we got rid of Chris Clark earlier in the season, so we're we're running. Thin at the line, and uh, the Browns, although we've spent a lot of money and spending more now with Vernon Davis, they've got a great uh, left tackle that would be uh, fun to grab. So, John, hopefully there's a little bit more magic in that hat of yours, but uh, what a great what a great game. And, you know what we could use, too? A slot receiver. Little Betty Fowler, I mean, he's, <laughs> he's working on it. He's yep. that work in progress we're talking about. But a slot receiver, somebody that can always be dependent upon him to get that separation. That helped a little bit, too. No, without a doubt. It, it, you know, what a, what a great day. What a great – for Bronco fans, if you've grown up in this city, you've been watching the Broncos a long time, <laughs> anytime you see the old players come in town, you see oh, yeah. Mike Shanahan getting a – you know, Dan Reeves – you get these great players. It was just magical. You, you dominate the Packers. 77 passing yards for Aaron Rodgers. Unbelievable. The rushing yards, nothing. I mean, just everybody. They had 140 <laughs> yards and we had 500 <laughs> yards. But how about this? No pass and touchdown. Unbelievable. 500 yards of offense. Who could have bet on that and won? Huh? Nobody would have Nobody. made that Nobody. But three rushing touchdowns, that's good, good news right there. And I guess that's a great way to end this show. Good, good news. So, uh, you know, oh, we, go, but, we go to Payton's old home. Yeah, town. we're going. Yeah, yep. the team that knocked us out of the playoffs. Well, we kind of knocked ourselves out of the yeah. playoffs, to tell you the truth. Yeah, he's going back home. But, boy, they should go in there with all the confidence in the world. All right, there you have it. Another win, 7-0. and You heard it, second time in Denver Bronco history. That's right. Now, remember, well, we only have a nine-game season left, and we're 7-0. I don't care what we do. We've got this division in the bag, especially after yesterday. Five, five games after seven games in the season, five games ahead of the San Diego Chargers. Uh, uh, and the same as uh, and the Chiefs. The Chiefs played lights <laughs> out, but it's too little, too, too late. late. <laughs> I'm Shad. This is George. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your day.